You can't see it. But I don't know if that Pull it down it. here. Yeah, that's too low. Too low. But um you are alive now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am live now. <laughs> I'm glad I'm pinching myself I'm alive. Okay, folks. Um, we're gonna talk about silver tonight. We're having a little bit of trouble technologically, but I think we got it going now. So um, my name is Rhonda Dial. We're teaching class tonight. And a lot of the information I'm gonna be going over has to do with Silver Shield and it's based out of this pamphlet. If you decide you want one of these, of course you can come by the shop on Valleydale Road at Go Natural, be glad to share. We're also gonna go over all the other stuff that I learned this last week at convention. I just got home last night, not before last, and I was talking um, there to a lot of other people that are also herbalists from all over the United States. We met in Anaheim and basically at convention, they introduced some new products. They revised some old products. They gave us all kinds of information. Hey, Angela, come on in. And so basically um, we, are going to talk about Silver Shield tonight and the information is coming from here, but we are also going to talk about some products that Nature Sunshine came out with as well. So in this little pamphlet, it talks about seven reasons to use Silver Solution and 26 ways to use it. Silver Shield is a product and Rebecca, when you get through doing that, do you mind grabbing me a bottle of Silver Shield sure. liquid and gel, please? Sure. Um, basically, Silver is, uh, the one that we use, is a silver soul product. Now, we do not use colloidal silver, and this colloidal silver is an ionized silver, and this was an aquasol silver, so it is different. We have it in a liquid, and we have a couple of different gels, and um, parts per million is what changes those up just a little bit. The Silver Shield liquid can be used in so many different ways we're going to talk about tonight, but I like it because you can literally put it in any orifice of the body. You can put it directly non-diluted in your eyes, in your nose. You can orally take it. You can warm it up just a smidgen and put it in the ears because if you put something cold in the ears, it doesn't feel good, but you want it body temperature. You can also put the gel topically on the skin anywhere. You can use it. It doesn't have any alcohol, so it doesn't burn privates. You can put it up inside your nostrils a little bit and that kind of thing. So it has just multiple purposes. Now, the one thing I like about Nature Sunshine is they have really, really tried to get things uh, with patents best they can and approved in the ways that they can. Because a lot of people will say, well, I don't know about taking all these supplements. They're not studied and all that. Well, a lot of stuff we have in Nature Sunshine is clinically and scientifically studied. And silver was one of our first products that we got to be able to be EPA approved and FDA approved. And we also got have a patent on it. So it is special and excellent in the way that it works. Now, the silver liquid and the gel both are going to be referred to in this information that we're going to go over tonight. Okay. So it says, how can silver soul, like I say, that's the, you know, the scientific name for the silver that we use help you. And so it's got seven different ways. So this is new technology. Numerous studies support hundreds of antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal claims and demonstrate the new silver technology as unique superior to colloidal and ionic silvers in the past. This new technology has made silver soil extremely effective in very small amounts while remaining extremely safe even when you use it in large amounts. Now, many of y'all may have seen on the internet or seen him on TV, the blue man. The blue man was not born a Smurf. He turned himself that way by consuming too much colloidal silver. And he was consuming more than most people would have ever consumed. Um, I understand he had some skin conditions. I think it was psoriasis and he was doing it for that, which 
He said it was very helpful, but he also consumed so much that he turned blue. Well, this aquasol process, the silver salt that we use cannot do that. It cannot turn you blue because it doesn't linger in the cells. The body uses it and it leaves the body. So it doesn't accumulate. I don't think most of us anyway would consume that much, but in extreme use. I have a sheet of paper that I hand out for people. Thank you. If you can hand them to me right here. Thank you. And um, I have a sheet of paper I hand out when people come in and purchase a bottle of silver. And I will say, they'll say, how much do I take? And we'll say this amount just daily, this amount, if you're a little bit worse off, this amount if you're really sick and this amount for extreme use. So depending on what the condition is of the body depends on what we might take. So the extreme use could be some of these conditions that it was scientifically studied to help and how they did that. They took a Petri dish and then put these conditions in there, the different problems, viral, bacterial, antibiotic, whatever it is, and see what period of time it took for it to change things. And then, of course, over the years that we've had the product, I have seen amazing things happen with people. And even myself, you know, I have testimonies myself on different things. I put it one day on Facebook. I put it on Facebook because I woke up on Sunday morning when I'm fixing to go to church and my left eye was so red. The white part was really, really red. I went, oh gosh, I have to go to church looking like that. So I got the silver and I just dropped it in my eye and then I took a shower. I got back out, I dropped it in my eye again, keep on getting ready, dropped it in my eye again about, you know, 30 minutes later, whatever, you know, because I'm on Sunday morning, I don't have to leave out quite so early. So I had like an hour and a half. So I used it about three or four times. By the time I headed out to church, it was perfect perfectly white again, like it's supposed to be. So it's great for those kind of minor things. I mean, that's not, you know, it's not life or death, but it don't look pretty and I just didn't want it. Then I had a situation that was a little bit more severe. I was at a hotel with my husband and we were, you know, there for I think convention or something like that. And they had given us the silver, shield gel. Okay. And that's what the silver shield gel looks like. It's clear, doesn't have alcohol in it. Don't burn. And I was making me some soup. You know how you have those dried soup in a little cup and I don't drink coffee, but I was using the coffee pot to make boiling water. And so I had my hand on the cup and I was pouring the boiling water into the cup and then going to put a little lid on it and let it hydrate. Right. Well, I pour that boiling water over the top of my hand. Burn like a book bear, drop soup all over the place, all that kind of thing. Well, I thought I had done, you know, that skin on your hand is really, really thin. And so I was like, my goodness, I have scarred myself for life. And then I go to the sink, you know, fiddle with stuff and all that. The silver shield was sitting there. I put it all over my hand. And of course it is soothing immediately to a burn situation. Now, is there other things we could do? We know about aloe vera gel. We know about lavender, I, but I didn't have those. I had the silver shield. So any of those would have been good, right? Mm -hmm. But that's what I had and I put it on there. And this was supper. So after I did that, I said, you know, I'm just going to go to bed. And so it was still a little tender now. Okay. And so I slept with my hands like this because I did underneath the cover, it hurt and everything. And I thought, Oh my goodness, I'm going to wake up and it's going to be bubbly. And I, you know, you just had this thought. I woke up the next morning, still in that same position. And I looked at my hands and I was like, which one did I do that to? They looked identical. You could not tell anything. They weren't red. It wasn't blistered. Didn't hurt. Nothing. Overnight just healed up. And I was like, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I have personal testimonies. I've had tons of testimonies about the different uses that we're going to talk about tonight. So basically 
we've got a lot of scientific study. Okay, that's number one. Number two is scientifically supported. There's 160 labs, report, and research studies have documented the benefits of using silver <laughs> soil. In fact, scientists have found that new silver soil solution can destroy 99.9% .9 of all bacteria, viruses, mold, fungus, and other pathogens. And it has been tested on within minutes of exposure. So usually when I'm working with somebody, I'll ask them to keep it like let's say we're going to work on a tooth issue, a gum issue, and we don't want to have it in your mouth, hold it there at least six minutes. It, in the Petri dish, it worked best with at least six minutes of contact. So keep that in mind. If you're going to put it in your ear, like I said, warm it up just a smidgen so it's body temperature, lean over, keep it in your ear for at least six minutes before you raise up. Okay, this six minutes is a deal. And I like the way you do the body temperature. Yes. Put it under your arm. Or yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a bottle, you can put it under your arm, put it between your legs, whatever it be, and that will get this now to body temperature. Now, <clears throat> we were, let's see, we had covered, uh, this includes, these are some of the other things it's been scientifically studied on. Malaria, common cold, flu viruses, numerous molds. It also works on what most people know of is MRSA. That's a type of staph. Salmonella, E. coli, streptococcus, and many other things. So I think it's got the scientific research behind it. Now, they've also got a patent on colloidal silver. Know that. This is a separate patent and it does do different things. Okay. Number three, super flexible. The new silver solution boasts multifaceted applications. It can be used inside the body internally as well as on the skin and in all kinds of orifices. And y'all all heard me say right after the birth of one of my children, I had had an episiotomy, and men may not know what that word means, but women usually do, mm -hmm. and my stitches came all open and got infected, and I used the silver shield, and it healed right back up and got rid of the infection, and I did not have to take the oral antibiotics, and that's what the doctor told me I was gonna have to do, but I used silver shield and Sid, and it stitched up itself, literally just healed right back up, from Thursday when I went to the gynecologist till Monday, it was healed. So any orifice, I did it. <laughs> Six minutes of contact, had to flip upside down, be acrobatic there for a minute. But, okay, silver soil can also be used as a uh, very affected household disinfect it, much like bleach or other cleaners. Of course, it's much safer than bleach and things like that. Did you know you can even put it in water mm -hmm. to purify it? the silver? So if you had the situation, hopefully you don't have the situation where you have to drink dirty water. But if you did, it'd be your friend. That might not look pretty, but it will kill those things and most of the time that's what's going to be in your water bacteria fungus mold <clears throat> yes does it kill the good bacteria in your stomach i've heard it doesn't it does not kill the good bacteria in your gut the that's the difference ones, the yes <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can you explain that how that works well it you know it has antibiotic properties but it doesn't work like a pharmaceutical antibiotic that just kills everything, good, bad, and ugly. This is only working on the bad stuff. So the good, friendly bacteria. See, antibiotics leave you more susceptible to catching other things because it's lowering that good bacteria in the gut, and we're supposed to have that proper ratio of good to bad bacteria. The silver just does not work that way. So that's what makes it different. But you know what? I have known people who weren't real sure about all this and they would take antibiotics and silver 
and the silver doesn't keep the antibiotics from working and the antibiotics don't keep the silver from working. So if you need them together, it is okay. Now, just like any other time we talk about this, don't swallow the natural things and the pharmaceuticals at the same time, take them at least an hour apart, but they can work together if need be. Because I heard a testimony of someone who did that and the physician was surprised that the antibiotics work so fast, but he had added the silver to it. So, you know, it, if somebody's kind of hesitant not to do the other, it's okay to do both. <clears throat> now, number four is quick kill time. Many medications dealing with conditions such as skin fungus and other infections can take weeks to work. The new silver solution, however, can be effective in just a few minutes. The new silver begins to destroy pathogens in seconds and completely destroys them when in direct contact for two to 10 minutes. Like I said, that six minutes is for sure the time frame you want to leave something on there if you can. But two to 10 minutes is great. This is very inexpensive silver. This is number five. When you add up the cost of doctor visits, the time you see the doctor, the prescription medication, and other factors involving conventional health care, silver is tremendous value. It is valuable without a prescription and can be used with utmost confidence because it's been tested. I always say it can't hurt you and it tastes just like water. So, you know, it's easy to get in a kid, a dog, cat, animals, and animals can do all the same stuff we do. Perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt you. Six, emergency preparedness. Are any of y'all preppers? Yep. Yep. We're preppers. I'm a prepper. I tell my kids, if we have a boom, you come to my house. Because I got enough for everybody in my family and got five kids and six grandkids. So I need a bunch of stuff because that's a bunch of people to feed. But I got, I got stuff and silver and all of my herbs are one of those things that you would want to have. You're going to have to become Dr. Mom, Dr. Dad in that kind of a situation. And silver's one of those things. Did you know that the liquid has an eight year shelf life? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you want to bury it in the ground, <laughs> <laughs> dig it up in your time capsule, it doesn't hurt silver to heat it or freeze it. Now, not that you have to do that, but it wasn't, it's not going to harm it to do that. The gel has an 18 month shelf life, so it's shorter. Rebecca. That's what I was about to ask. Would it hurt it to keep it in the car? No, I don't recommend things getting hot, but no. Now the gel, I wouldn't do it that right. way, but the liquid, it, it well, doesn't change it. The little thing of gel is okay to carry around. It is. And if we put things in our bag that we're carrying in and out, it's not going to hurt it to get a little bit. Mm. You know, we live in Alabama. It gets hot around here. What about putting it in a nebulizer and sucking it into your lungs? What effect would that have? That is my favorite thing to do with silver. Because if you have sinus, respiratory, lung issues, Swallowing it does not get there. Now, you can lay flat on your back on your bed and lay your head off the bed and put a droppers full of the silver to get it into the sinus passages. That does work. But if you want it in your mucous membranes of your lungs and your bronchioles and all that, you're going to have to nebulize it to get it there. So, yes, that is excellent to do. And it is very, um, it'll vaporize with a very small amount, like about a half a teaspoon mm -hmm. will get you good for a treatment. Now, you know, my son had cystic fibrosis, so I work with those kind of people all the time. If they're wanting to go natural, I highly recommend it for individuals in that situation. Uh, COPD, pneumonia, flu, just chronic issues with your respiratory, you know, it can be nebulized. Now, you're not going to mix it with albuterol or something like that. Just use it straight. Just use it straight. You don't have to put water in it or anything. Perfect. Nebulizers don't require a script. 
So you can buy a nebulizer at the medical supply store mm -hmm. if you have a lot of respiratory issues or asthma or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's and some people already have them. I buy them at yard sales all the time. <laughs> <laughs> because people will have them like their kids will have them for asthma and then they don't have asthma anymore and now they got it. And of course you can get the new hoses and you know all the stuff that you want to get brand new, but the compressor is good to have. I've got one the other day for two dollars. Wow. So, you know, that's a good deal. So look out for them. If you know somebody that has one and not using it anymore or whatever it be, grab it up because you just never know when mm -hmm. you might need it. So yes, that's an excellent way to utilize it. What about a CPAP machine that you no, use every night? No, that's different. Okay. Yeah, that's a different. With a humidifier, that's why. And yeah. You can add it now water. you can put silver in a humidifier, but it's not going to work the same way a nebulizer is going to work course but um and you can you know i have a uh small neti pot well it's not a neti pot it's a i think it says vaporizer or something mm -hmm. it's not it's a personal one though so in other words you got this little thing it heats it up you can put it down in there and it just seals around your face and so you can just breathe it in that way like that and it's like this tall mm -hmm. So I got that at the drugstore. You could put it in there and that would help a little bit, probably more with your sinuses. I don't know if it would get as good as the nebulizer does to the lungs, but you know, and you, of course you could put some essential oils or different things in there. You don't want to put oils in things like that too much because it'll clog it up, but you know, a drop here and there are good. And believe it or not, not with silver, but with essential oils, if you wanted to use things, you can fill up your sink, stop it up with really, really hot water and put a drop of essential oil in there, cover your head up with a towel and breathe it in that way. You know, you can use all kinds of things to get into those nasal passages if need be. Now, but for an antibiotic or yes. antiviral purposes. Yes, you got have to get silver it. shield would be better with the nebulizer. It would. It would. Well and also using a nebulizer is the quickest way to get it into your bloodstream. It does besides fast. intravenous. Totally. Totally fast. Um Several agencies and other organizations have recommended stockpiling silver soil as a potential agent to fight against bioterrorism. In addition, silver can purify water in as little as four minutes. Mm -hmm. So if you're a prepper, I think this silver gel and liquid both are great to have on hand. Use them up as you can, keep them, you know, there, but like I say, they've got a long shelf life and uh, can be very beneficial in the case of wounds, whatever it be, or just, you know, exposure to a lot of toxins, keeping things clean. Now, number seven is it's extremely safe. Research, testing, and long-term use show, show that silver solution is completely safe for everyone, including children, pregnant women, elderly. Uh, experts estimate that one would need to consume about a half a bottle of silver solution daily over a period of several years before even measurable amounts of silver would begin to accumulate in the body. Like I say, it's not going to turn you blue. It, you would have to do a truckload and we're not going to do a truckload. There's no sense in doing what you don't need. Of course it's costly. No need to. I don't believe in expensive urine. There have been no reported complaints involving this silver solution and no <clears throat> negative side effects such as those witnessed with most prescription drugs. So this is a safe way of working on those things we were talking about. Now those are seven different things it was talking about here, but the 26 ways you could use the several soil is what we're going to talk about. Now, Can I ask something? Yes, that go ahead. Yeah. That track to the beginning yeah. where it's that. better than ionized or colloidal silver? Yes. yes. Why, in a nutshell, can you explain to people? Why? Because it doesn't build up in the cell and it does more. Like, that's why we were administered a separate patent, is because it has been proven to do more, but it's not going to accumulate. In other words, the ionized silver, that's why it turned the guy blue, is he did a lot and then it accumulated in its body. And this is going to go into the cell, do what it needs to do and leave the body. So that's the difference between them. 
Yeah, there's many more things, but in a nutshell. Have okay. The name Ours is called Silver Shield, but it's called Silver Soul. So it's S O L. Right. Silver mm -hmm. Solution. Mm -hmm. And the Others is like colloidal silver. So sometimes when I'm talking to people and I'm saying silver shield, they'll go, well, I have some colloidal silver. And I'm like, okay, but that's not what I'm saying. I am saying silver, but it's not colloidal silver. It is different. Now, I'm not saying colloidal silver is bad. Don't hear me say that. Mm -hmm. It has medicinal purpose. I'm just saying when I'm talking and saying it's doing this, I'm talking about this, not that. Okay, so the different ways this can be used. Daily disinfectant. Now, if you have the sheet of paper, which the people here in class do, then you'll notice it has a check right there on how much to use in that situation. For special circumstances, serving can be doubled, depending on what you're working on. When people have different conditions that are listed here, different kinds of fevers, those kind of things, the dosages may vary a little bit and you would want to take it every hour until the fever subsides. Okay. Now, because it has no taste, you could add it to a person's water or you could give it to them straight. So that's pretty cool when you've got a kid that won't take anything if it has a color to it or a texture to it or a taste to it. This way you can give it or if you have an animal, Again, you could just put it in the water bowl. So it, you know, it works in a lot of circumstances. Now, maybe you're not going to experience malaria here, but many people do go out of the country and pick up malaria. It's a parasite. And basically it has the indications on how it was used. This was put into the patent because there are people that uh, have issues with that. And Nature Sunshine actually did a, human study with it. They went to Ghana and there was the little boy there and he had a malaria parasite. I think it was five is what it showed up when they tested his blood and they put the silver liquid in his eyes. They gave it to him orally and they topically put the gel on his skin because malaria can affect your skin. And in five days it was gone. They showed a picture of him before and he was just listless and he was in you know like a little bed and he was just like uh and then afterwards they showed him just running around like you expect a normal two or three year old to be just running all over the place so that was really cool so um pneumonia meningitis toxic shock syndrome plague you know hopefully we don't have any plague but you never know um so it lists on how to do that there. Food poisoning, that's another one to consider. Diarrhea or the flu, urinary infections, hepatitis. Now, different situations require different amounts of treatment. But a lot of times when it's something heavy duty making you really, really sick, you might want to take that amount of a teaspoon or two or three teaspoons every hour. Okay, that's not going to, it's not going to hurt you to do that around the office because that's for internal use what we were talking about around the office you might consider the spray put it in a little fine mist spray bottle and spraying it in your mouth for your voice um mouth wash now i have a lot of people that have gum issues and teeth issues and they'll put the silver shield liquid in their mouth swish it around hold it there for at least that six minutes then swallow it to help keep that area clean and disinfected so that bacteria and things are not going to grow. That can be very helpful with all kinds of dental issues. Ear infections, like we said, warming it up a little bit, putting it in your ear. Eye infections, I gave you the testimony about what I did directly. You can also get an eye cup and rinse your eyes out with it, or you can just use a dropper. Nasal spray. A lot of, you like it for that? Yeah. Um, you know, put it in something where you can squirt it up your nose. That can be very, very helpful. A lot of people use that. Also, like I said, you can lay down flat and lay your head off and put it down your nasal passages. If you have a sinus infection that hurts like a booger bar, but only the period of time that you have it in there, 
once you blow it out, you're good. But for a minute, you're going to be like, ow! But do one nostril at a time. Everybody will say, I'm going to do two nostrils. You're going to feel like you're drowning. So don't do it that way. Just do one nostril at a time. Do the worst one first, just in case you don't want to do it again. <laughs> but it's, it's very helpful. And it's not like you got to do that all the time, right? You're getting it in there, getting rid of it. Okay. Um, sore throat, strep throat, tooth, jaw infection, <laughs> things like that. You can, like I say, hold it, rinse it, all of those things. Now, external use. A lot, a lot of this we might use the gel or the liquid to try to hold it in an orifice. Vaginal infections, burns, wounds, skin acne, rashes, ringworm, skin infection, toe and foot fungus, antibacterial, hand gel. Yeah. My son is allergic to alcohol, topically on his skin. We were on a cruise. He was 12. He went through the line. They wanted to put that gooey stuff on his hands. He did it. He comes around and goes, ah, mom, mom, my hands, my hands. And his hands were on fire, burning like crazy, and they were red as all get out. In my house, we don't use antibacterial gel. He had never touched alcohol in his life. We just don't use it. So he had a re reaction. I told him to go wash it off and it cleared up and everything. But he can put the Silver Shield gel, which has no alcohol on it, and he is protected for four hours in the test. Four hours. You are 100% protected. You can touch all kinds of stuff that everybody else has touched and got all kind of junk on it, even MRSA. And you're not going to pick it up. So if you got to go visit somebody in the hospital, rub it all over you. Rub it all over you. Yeah. <laughs> Drink it, rub it, stick it up your nose, everywhere. But, you know, if you've got to, you're at a wedding or a funeral and you're shaking a lot of hands or just going to church, you know, put it on your hands and be protected <laughs> in that situation. And plus, I don't know about you, but sometimes I see these people getting a child, a small child, a baby, putting that stuff on them. Ooh. You know, they can get alcohol poisoning that way. That's not cool. Their bodies cannot handle that at all. So just consider that this wouldn't hurt them. Diaper rash and a face wash. So it can be used externally and all of that. Um, now, household use, it mentions Dixon, disinfecting countertops and cutting boards, bathroom basin, disinfecting that, the counter, shower, tub, disinfecting toothbrushes. Did you know that H. pylori bacteria, now that's a bacteria that can get into the lining of your stomach and make you sick as a dog, but did you know if you got that, you can give it back to yourself over and over again through your toothbrush. Oh. Mm. That's why a lot of people can't get well. They're not throwing their toothbrush away and starting it all over again. So if you want to keep this clean and you've got a lot of oral issues in your mouth, then soak your toothbrush in Silver Shield. Get a little thing where you, and you don't have to use a whole bottle or nothing, just stick it down in there and that'll help keep it sanitary and clean so you don't make yourself sick from yourself. And also it helps to disinfect laundry. Okay. So this is a pamphlet you can take home. And when you got something going on, you know, check it out, use it. If you have further questions, holler. Um, I have another sheet in my office that I give to anybody when they come in and it'll tell you more about applications and use for gel and liquid. Does anybody have a testimony in here where you've used the liquid or the gel that you liked it a lot? You want to share? Nancy? I've used um, the liquid in the nebulizer when I was having uh, a lot of, it was all the cold in my nose and my throat, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and uh, helped a lot to clear it up quickly. And it was soothing. Right. Um, although when you first start doing it, it might cough a little bit more right in the beginning, but that's just yeah. expelling that. And then I had a situation similar to you with the pouring hot water on my hand. It was actually hot coffee Ow. and burning my hand and um, using putting the silver, you know, put it first under cold water, but then it was still stinging. 
and then I put the Silver Shield on it and uh, felt better right away and redness went away and it was good. Isn't that uh, neat? Yeah. Awesome. Catherine? Yes, uh, 2011, me and my family went to Africa. Mm -hmm. So I took Silver Shield with me. Yes. So six of us, nobody gets malaria. Oh, that's a blessing. Yeah. And even now, we are using for itching eyes mm -hmm. because of pollen. Right. Yep. It's, it's working really good. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, we're in pollen season right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have itchy, watery eyes. Yeah. And, you know, it's if you have to. Nose. Mm -hmm. All of those things, yeah. and it's totally safe for us and even little kids who, you know, sometimes. Before, yeah, before I came here, I just put drop to my son, mm -hmm. Joshua. Yes. Yeah, he was. And he's four, right? Or no, how, Joshua he's, is. Joshua's. He's oh, about, wait, wait. He's about to turn 10. 10. Oh, okay. I'm thinking the baby. Okay, yeah, yeah, older yeah. one. Okay. I always get them mixed up. <laughs> Benjamin and Joshua get them yeah. mixed up. But anyway, so. yes, that's cool. We're at that season, the springtime, and you might have to be outside a lot. And if you are, some of that stuff can bother you. And so it doesn't hurt anything. If you if you just, you know, got red eyes or irritated eyes just from the pollution, you know, you can use it in that situation. And the gel, that's right. You've had experience with the gel on the face, and me too. You can tell a difference with a lot of people care about wrinkles and things like that. But topically, if you put it on there before, you put your moisturizer on or whatever it be, it helps with just the <laughs> tightening and toning of the skin. And I don't know about you, y'all can tell I talk with my hands for sure thing, mm -hmm. but all of us are getting on our face. Well, our hands is where a lot of that bacteria is. We've touched something, whatever it be, and then if we touch our face, now it's on our skin. And so if you have the gel on your face when you start the day off and then the gel on your hands, it's going to make a difference. So let's say you've got a person who says, oh, my face is breaking out and not a teenager, or maybe you are a teenager and you touch your face a lot. It would help your face not to break out if you use it on your hands and on your face. Just with normal spreading of your own bugs onto your body. Putting it on your face would be an application to your hands. It would. And then later on in the day, you could do your hands again. That's right. Yep, it works. And it is going to absorb into you quickly. So, you know, people say, well, if it's good on your hands for four hours, which it is, what about when you wash your hands? You're going to put it on your hands and let it air dry, which is maybe going to take a minute. And then, it's in you now. Your body absorbed it. So you're good for that four hour period of time frame, at least. Okay, maybe more, but at least that. All right. Now, does anybody else have any other questions about the Silver Shield? And I, um, this is one bottle that is actually a little different now. We've got it in a polycarbonate material bottle that is larger than this, and you get it for the same price. And basically, um, it's in the boxes out there. <laughs> I know we got a, I went to convention and we got a huge shipment. And so we haven't unpacked everything yet. But basically for about $25, give or take, you can get, this is a four ounce bottle and we have it in a six ounce bottle for the same price. When you become a member <laughs> now, I don't know, I think most of y'all are members and membership doesn't cost anything if you want to join Nature Sunshine. And of course you have to have a sponsor and if people are learning things from me, they're welcome to sign up as a member in my group. And you can call me and I'll tell you how to do that, but it's free to be a member and it makes your products cheaper by about 35%. And you can read up on the silver to a degree on my website if you go to rondadial.com and click on product list. You can read on the gel and the liquid. Now this is the regular gel, but we also have a smaller version of this, a smaller little bottle. And then we also have one called Rescue, which is a higher parts per million. And it has been scientifically studied more about the wound healer aspect. Did you have a question? No, okay. And so, 
a lot of people have gotten really good results for that. So if you're going camping or you know spending the day at the park or something like that where you <coughs> might get a boo-boo more apt to, definitely want to carry that kind of thing. And they have a larger bottle and a smaller bottle of that. So that could be handy to carry around as well. Okay, has anybody else got any other questions on the silver right now? Angela? If you've got mildew in the basement, yes. would it be better to use Silver Shield or Nature's Enzyme Spray? Okay, that is a great question. I would put them together. So Nature's Fresh Enzyme Spray, Silver Shield, spray it on there together. That's what I would do. Yes, because okay. they both are effective and it would just be doubly good. Definitely. Yes. Anybody else got a question or thought? Nope. Good. Now, I handed out some sheets of paper. When I went to the convention, they introduced several new products. This one right here is Cardiox LDL. And basically, it is again like nature sunshine has started to do we are getting studies double blind placebo controlled trial using this um and they're also getting patents and all kinds of things on these new products that they're coming out with and it is so exciting this one right here i don't know if anyone has ever had issues with their cholesterol their circulatory system but this is one designed to address that. And I gave you a sheet of paper that gives you more information about it. So Nature Sunshine just opened up what they call the Hughes Center for Research and Innovation. And it's 4,500 square feet of office, laboratory, and clinical space, three laboratories, and they have all of this very expensive highfalutin equipment in here. And they've got um, five PhD researchers and scientists, Dr. Matt Tripp, Dr. Cheryl Kring, uh, Dr. John Bapish, Dr. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna butcher his name because he's Oriental. <laughs> his last name is G-A-O. And uh, there's also another doctor, and his last name is K-A-A-D-I-G-E. But all of these guys are scientists, got PhDs, very smart dudes. And basically, they are working with products for patents and scientific research clinical study so that we can come out with new products and make the claims that we do because it's been studied and that kind of thing and you know they're not going to do any harm and I love that. So this is something new that Nature Sunshine just started doing. So if you want the sheet of paper and learn more about that you can. So the Cardio, the Cardiox LDL, the benefits and I'm getting this information directly from Nature Sunshine, they handed this out at convention modulates oxidation of LDL cholesterol, supports healthy cholesterol levels, features a powerful proprietary antioxidant blend, and is a critical, it is clinically studied, exclusive patent pending formula. So the ingredients are the bergamo fruit extract, and it's in a blend of nine fruit and plant extracts, including turmeric, green tea, grapeseed, mango sting. So it's a really cool formula. And there's some complimentary products that could go with it if you have this issue. And it mentions COQ10, the Super Omega 3, the Berberine IR, which I'm fixing to talk about, and the Probiotic 11. You know, at convention this year, they talked a tremendous amount about gut health. There was a doctor that spoke on that specifically and how much of a relationship there is to your gut and then inflammation throughout the rest of your body. 
because just about, if not all, health issues go back to inflammation in some part of your body. Mm -hmm. And like say, if you have proper balance in the gut, then that can decrease a lot of the inflammation throughout the rest. And so that's why probiotics and considering fermented food, which you get at the store or make yourself, <coughs> can make a huge difference with balancing out probiotics and then prebiotics, which is what the probiotics eat. It says here the frequently asked questions are about the Cardiox LDL. What is it? And it's a synergistic combination of bergamot, fruit extract, and a powerful proprietary antioxidant blend that naturally supports healthy cardiovascular function, modulates cholesterol oxidation, and maintains healthy cholesterol levels. Because many people, and I believe, and many other people do as well, that cholesterol is not the enemy. It's not something that we need to get too low in the body because the liver itself is making the cholesterol. It's doing it to combat oxidative stress in the body and inflammation. So that's where we need to go. That's what we need to address is the inflammation and the oxidation. In their paragraph on top, it says, uh helps support total cholesterol and triglyceride levels already in the normal range. So this is more like a prophylactic, or is, are they saying that if a person, because they're saying in normal ranges. So what are their, if people are, have cholesterol issues, they're not in normal ranges. What's the recommendation there? Now, that is for legal purposes that they have to say that. So if I had high cholesterol levels, I would still consider using it to keep things balanced, me, myself, but they have to say that legally. That, that's one of those legal statements. It's the same way with all the blood sugar stuff and everything. It's to maintain things in normal range. But what I mean to say is which you maybe, uh, instead of the dosage, like if you are- No, range, I'd still take that dosage. You wouldn't go bigger? <laughs> not, not necessarily. Now it all depends on the situation, but not necessarily, because if you're working on the true issue of the inflammation, you know, cholesterol is not the enemy. Your body's making more of it and your brain and your hormones need cholesterol to function properly. So getting the cholesterol way too low, I don't think is the solution to the problem. I think we need to be balanced. I think we need to be normal. You want to look at the LDL and the HDL. And we're going to talk m in a minute about the HDL too, the good. And it talks about on the sheet of paper how it works. And this blend of ingredients, especially that bergamot fruit extract, is thought to work in part by using specific phytochemicals to block an enzyme required for the liver production of damaging LDL cholesterol. In addition, this formula contains synergistic blend of naturally occurring ingredients that have demonstrated antioxidant effects and also modulate oxygenation of LDL. So this oxygenation is the deal. It says, can I take the cardio, cardio cardiox LDL if I already take other nature sunshine products for cholesterol metabolism. During the clinical studies, no side effects were reported from taking the Cardiox LDL as a nutritional supplement. We recommended that you contact your physician prior to taking this. Now you can show them the ingredients. I've got the ingredient list right here of what it has in it. You know, we've talked about the bergamot orange fruit extract, but it also has apple fruit extract, turmeric, green tea, green uh, grapeseed extract, mangosteen, uh, the grape skin, the olive leaf, the blueberry, the capsicum. Those are all just natural food. Herbs are food, and that's what it falls into. Remember, if you're taking something natural, you want to take it away from your pharmaceuticals about at least one hour. I don't recommend swallowing at the same time frame, but it wouldn't be contraindicated. 
with other things. Okay. <coughs> That's one of them. The other thing that they changed is we've always had the COQ10, coenzyme Q10, but they also have upped the milligram to 100. We have 50. These are also a gel cap, and that was important to me because y'all know that I've used the gel to chew it if you had gum issues, you know, to chew it to increase the blood flow and circulation to your gums if that's a problem that you're working on. So they came out with a higher, higher milligram. They also put it in a base with the vitamin E because there are some people who have issues with soy. And a lot of the COQ10 in the gel can be in a soy based. And if people are allergic to that, then they might not be able to use this. And you know, a lot of um, people will take COQ10 if they are taking a statin drug, because statin drugs are known to deplete your body of COQ10. So it's helpful to be able to have something that's more natural. And it goes into the ubiquitinol and what form Nature Sunshine is using. Nature Sunshine comes from the ubiquitinol, and I, I'm not good at pronouncing these words, but it's U-V-I-Q-U-I-N-O-N-E. In the body, you can find both forms and this one sometimes we're referred to as the oxidized form where the ubiquinol <laughs> is referred to as the reduced form. The body uses these forms interchangeably through an automatic conversion process that helps to maintain equilibrium. So if the body has the ubiquinol, it will convert to the ubiquinol and vice versa. Okay. So that's why it uses that form. Um, as you age, the body produces less and less COQ10. Now COQ10 is in the muscles in your body. It's in every cell of your body, but it uh, produces less. So to maintain the COQ10 through the diet, you might eat foods like fish and beef liver and some whole grains. However, COQD 100 provides a way of keeping it in your body in it's a standardized amount. So this is a supplement you might consider, especially if you have issues with your cardiovascular part of your body, because it helps that function, energy production, helps reduce cellular <laughs> oxidative stress throughout the body, inhibits antioxidant and neuroprotective properties, supports already normal range blood pressure levels, and it supports the health of the heart, kidneys, liver, and pancreas. So it's one of those that many people see benefits from. Now, Another product that Nature Sunshine just came out with is the Berberine IR. And this information, I actually tested myself on my personal body. I got um, a sample of it ahead of time and it was awesome. I gave it to my daughter and I took it myself. Now my blood sugar has, you know, in the past I had a lot of issues in it and it's balanced more now, but sometimes, you know, you crave a few sweet things. Sometimes your blood sugar is going up and down depending on what you're doing, stress levels and all that. And I did notice when I took this, I definitely didn't crave sweets at all. And I noticed my blood sugar stayed more balanced. So it supports healthy glucose metabolism and it supports gut health to combat those endotoxins. So this is the one I said does a little bit more than just what you think of as blood sugar. Berberine is a plant alkaloid, can be extracted from a variety of herbs, including Oregon grape, Indian barberry, golden seal, and prickly poppy. Berberine has been recognized for its beneficial properties as a phytonutrient. 
Its use can be traced to China nearly 5,000 years ago. So this is one of those things, if you're having issues with blood sugar high or low, either way, you might consider supporting your endocrine system. And berberine, a cons uh, constituent of certain plants, helps activate a key enzyme that supports blood glucose metabolism, turning your cells from idle to on, helping them use glucose effectively. Additionally, berberine supports healthy gut performance to combat endotoxins. High carbohydrate diets change the microflora in the gut, increasing bacteria that produces those endotoxins. These endotoxins are released into the bloodstream and interfere with normal glucose metabolism. So this can be beneficial for your gut as well as your blood sugar or just your glucose levels, period. Excellent product. Okay, let's see. I think that, now they came out with a bunch of new essential oils. Um, they've increased the size of the bottle. They came out with a couple of kits. That's really neat. And um, they came out with new formulas that we have not had in the past. They call um, the formula, the single herbs we've had before, they made them in a larger bottle. Now, Nature Sunshine has always had essential oils for a long time. These are not new, but some of these formulas are new and they're authentic oils. We have testing that we're doing on these oils, just like we do on all the products to prove they're what we say they are. Now, many people are familiar with oils, maybe from other companies. And in my opinion, sometimes people are not getting as educated on them as they need to. And so consequently, they are taking things inside the body that really should not be ingested. And it can be dangerous if you use an oil on the inside, especially in the high content that some people do, just not, they're not on purpose doing it. They just don't have enough education. And so I've been using essential oils, you know, for over 30 years. I've been an herbalist for 33 years. So I'm not afraid of essential oils. I just want them to be used properly. And I want to use pure, authentic oils. And I want to know that they have been tested and are pure. So that's what Nature Sunshine always brings to us. So there's a blend called Inspire that is new. We have one called uh, Essential Shield. We have one called Core. We have one called Refuge, Recover. Those are all new. One that I'm really excited about that they came out with is called Changes. <laughs> Why would I like that one? Because oh, I'm in my second 50 years of life. And so my body's going through changes. And it can be used on women who are also still having PMS, still having cycles, and it can be beneficial that way as well. So this is not a class on essential oils. We'll go into that later. But I wanted to let you know that they've come out are with- they doing specials on them? They are. They're doing some specials right now and through, you know, this next. You'll you'll see a lot of things if you go to the website that they're having. Now, I appreciate everybody that comes into my store because that's the only way that I would have received this award when I went to convention this year. So I thank all of y'all very much for this. Um, I was the top retailer in Nature Sunshine, so I have this wow. store, and with all the people all over, you know, in the nation, I was awarded the top retailer, so I thank Nature Sunshine. It was a big honor. We also won a leadership award as well, but um, this is the first time Philip and I ever got this, <laughs> so I was very excited, and Y'all know that I have classes on Monday night here. Um, 
for people who want to do what I do. And so if any of y'all want to come to that class, you're welcome to, because I love to teach other people to do what I have found to be successful. And then we have this class on Tuesday night, and then I have a weight loss class on Thursday night. And if any of y'all want to get involved in any of those classes, because the inform class that we do on Tuesday night, which is a 12 week, Thursday. Um, Thursday. oh, sorry, on Thursday night, uh, we are getting towards the end of this session and then we'll get it started up again. So if anybody's interested in joining us for that, they are welcome to. So I'm going to go ahead and end the YouTube class. I appreciate everybody. Go to my website, rondadial.com, click on product list. You'll learn more that way on any of the herbs we talked about tonight. So thank you very much.